published 0758 EDT, 15 October 2017 Updated 0852 EDT, 15 October 2017 Slavin Bilic admits record signing Marko Arnatovic has made a slow start to his West Ham career. Arnatovic arrived from Stoke in the summer for a fee worth up to £25 million, but the Austrian playmaker has yet to make much of a down payment on that. He was sent off in his second appearance for the club for a dangerous elbow on Southampton's Jack Stevens and missed the next three games through suspension before sitting out of the win over Swansea with illness. Slaven Bilic admitted Marko Arnatovic has not made the best of starts to his West Ham career Saturday's trip to Burnley, saw him restored to the starting Zai, but Andy Carroll's early red card saw Arnatovic sacrificed at halftime in a tactical switch as West Ham took a 11 draw. Two months on from his debut, Bilic accepted Hammers fans are still to see the best of the former Werder Bremen forward. Yes. He has made a slow start, but that is because he got suspended for three games and then he missed the last game because of the flu he got, said the Croatian. His slow start is because of his mistake. This substitution was just tactical he didn't go out because of a bad performance, he was taken off because my staff and I decided we needed an extra man in midfield. I think it was a good decision. Arnatovic saw red in only his second appearance for the club against Southampton and Billick believes being banned for three games for the offence has hampered his start encouraging second-half display of his replacement, the more industrious Pedro Abiang, and the presence of fit again Manuel Lanzini could mean the squeeze is on for Arnatovic in the starting side. Andre Ayo and Diafrasako were both unused substitutes at Turf Moor, giving Billick decisions to make in the coming weeks. It is difficult, but it happens to most clubs in the moment they have all their players, he said. The Pound's 25 million summer arrival was substituted off on Saturday after Andy Carroll saw red, but the Hammers boss insisted this was for tactical reasons as opus to a bad performance not every team is in the position of Crystal Palace, all the strikers injured are out. You have a squad with numbers, because very rarely are you in a position to choose from your whole squad. Burnley went behind to Michael Antonio's 19th minute effort, gifted to the visitors after errors from Ben Mee and Nick Pope, and only equalised with five minutes left on the clock. Chris Wood was the man to get the job done, netting for the fourth time since his £15 million move for I Leeds. Michael Antonio had given his side the lead at Turf Moor, but they cold and hold on for Victoria as a striker you've just got to keep going because there's always going to be another chance. He told the club's official website. It was a bit of a frustrating one, and against 10 men we could perhaps have done a bit more, but I think if the goal had come earlier in the half we would have gone on to win it. We have to keep working and finding ways of breaking people down, and we will be on to a winner. Six unbeaten is a fantastic record, which is something well looked to build on next weekend. Chris Wood headed in Burnley's equaliser and admitted he was happy to get on the score sheet.